All right, so these bosses are kind of boring and I always seem to forget to do them every single day and I only ever remember late at night when I'm in bed. So <laughs> yeah, I haven't even completed this yet. I'm gonna try to get at least, well, I can't really get this one today, but I'm gonna get it tomorrow. So yeah, we're just gonna do this. And I thought like, yeah, running it two turn is the best thing you can do, right? Cause it takes less time. And I thought, you know what? I'll just challenge myself and I'll make like a completely free to play friendly team that can beat this on extreme in two turns. So that's what we're gonna do here. We have all of these units. They are of course all completely free to play. They were given out for free at one point or another. Zeldris is the only one that we're giving away for like, you had to pay 30 gems to get him. Uh, Cause he was on the same banner that Eskinor was that, you know, the free, uh, a new player banner, I guess it's called or whatever. So you get Eskinor at the first like step up. You can choose between Eskinor and Goddess Liz. And then you can choose between Zeldris and Green Gopher on the second step up. But you had to pay like 30 gems. But I'm still considering him free. So yeah. Kizuna of course was given out for free during the Shield Hero collab. And Bronhild here was given out for free recently with like the Hawk Spin event tickets or whatever they called. So yeah, just to go over their gear. Um attack crit, attack crit, attack crit, <laughs> attack crit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need crit gear, like you, you can't crit the boss, but it has to be attack and then something and the cards that they just auto set to HP and I'm eating attack food. So the tactic for this is quite easy. Like I'm, I'm, I'm making this mostly for like new players, I guess, but if you're an old school player and you want to challenge yourself, like do things like this, I guess. But basically you just attack with Kizuna, buff up with Kizuna and do, then do two attacks with the one Eskador. So we're just gonna buff up and do two attacks and also remember to always target the boss otherwise uh, the computer is gonna like auto target one of the side units because they have less health and two attacks like this is enough to kill like of course you can't crit him that's almost an impossibility but then you just attack three times and you need to attack three times that are gonna you know kill the boss and these three attacks are gonna kill him he's gonna revive with 50 percent health and then you just finish off with the Power Strike card from Bronhild. Yeah, and it's that that simple. And then you just reset and redo it again. Uh, I don't know why they like lock away some really good like cosmetics and stuff like that behind <laughs> these types of bosses. Like that's annoying. I wish it was just a shop and not just things you actually have to do. Because this is just a chore, you know. There's no challenge in this. It's not fun. It's not like the underground labyrinth that's kind of challenging. I wish they would keep like the underground labyrinth like at the difficulty. Uh, it was like in the first season and not like the super easy ones we've had since. Like on the second season as well as the special uh, shield hero underground labyrinth. I feel like those were too easy because I do kind of enjoy like running it a couple of times before I sort of figure out what sort of best tactics or moves are. I'm gonna attack once with Zelders, we'll do one of these. We'll do one of these and then finish off with that. I think the Bronhild one might kill the first one and then yeah it would have easily killed. I could have done this with like three attacks. I'm just wasting one attack just to be safe. I'm over always overestimating or underestimating how hard Bronil hits. And like one of the reasons she hits this hard is she gets debuffed and I do have her holy relic. So she has her attack increased by 20% because of holy relic. Uh, the debuff decreases the attack by 10% but it's still a net positive. So that's really good. Kizuna of course is buffing us with her own holy relic. And uh, she's giving us the it attack related stats or whatever. And then she's also giving us 20% basic stat by buffing up with a silver card. It's not 30% is it? Silver. Maybe it is. No, it's 20%. But it's for everyone. And then she also gives us 30% attack related stats. Like I can have a look at Bronhild's attack just so you can see like how high her attack actually gets stacked on the second phase. Because at the beginning of the second phase uh, on this boss we do get like applied with a debuff and if you have her holy relic she's like gonna get so much more attack from that so. There we go. That's the debuff. And Bronhild's Holy Relic, of course, makes it so that if she has a debuff, her attack is increased by 20%. But as you can see, 53k, almost 54k attack. And that is with sub-optimal attack rolls on the on the gear. Uh, but here we actually got two Eskinor attacks, so we can just do this. I'm not even gonna use Zeldris. Uh, because some of you might say, oh, he's not free to play, you have to use 30 gems to get him. And most people probably also got, like, Green Gopher. 
I don't think I was one of those people. I think I wanted like have to have my Zeldris maxed out because it's a really good like backline unit. So I went for Zeldris. Um, I was like going back and forth on who I should actually go for, but I think I ended up picking Zeldris. I'm pretty sure I, I didn't pick up Gopher, but I was going back and forth. Um, but yeah, then you just do this. I'm not gonna drag out the video for too long, but yeah, that's the that's the video. Hope you found it helpful or useful, um, or at least a little bit enjoyable. And yeah, this is just a quick video. Thanks for watching, hope you have a wonderful day, and yeah, guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.